welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. And the whole reason for today's video is to talk about the update on the 2018 Turbo Habusa, where it is, what's going on. Um, ever since Suzuki and Kevin Powell did not want to address the issue with my transmission and everything, I turned around and took it to the exact same shop that is trying to make amends um, with me where they turn around and messed up the install on 50 Turbo, which is not my first choice. It was not my second, third, nor fourth, but they was the cheapest at the current time and because of the money situation right now where I've spent quite a bit of money in the last uh, couple of months, six months, between buying the bike, doing the turbo, taking it to Florida and getting it corrected and everything so it's rideable. Then this whole situation came up where Zuki didn't want to take care of the clutch. Uh, well, transmission, not clutch. So I turned around and I took it back to the shop because it was cheaper than everywhere, all their competitors and everywhere else, which you get what you pay for. Ugh. I hate to say it and think about it, but yeah, that's the way I'm thinking right this second. So they tore the transmission apart. They pulled the motor, pulled the transmission apart. They sent my transmission since it has less than 2,000 miles on it out to be cut. It's getting race cut. Uh, it's going to come back. It's going to be installed. Uh, three out of six heavy duty clutch springs are going to be installed. A new clutch basket. The clutch, uh, the shift forks. I was wanting to go with billet, but because of the price, I kind of could not do that at this current time. So I'm going back with OEM forks. Uh, and then because of the clutch springs, I um, went with a RCC um, sprocket cover. Also, I went with a billet. Um, I don't know the actual correct name. Shift fork um, rod, push rod, I think. It's not a push rod, but just the fork rod. I don't know the name of it. Um, because everybody I've heard and everything, they said it needs to be updated, uh, upgraded, not updated, upgraded because of the turbo and the power. Um, and the fact that I want to turn the power up more soon, um, they advised there because the OEM ones were uh, notorious for bending. Um, had a conversation talking about the output shaft updating it to um, uh, billet output shaft so because of being turbo and everybody told me unless you hit 500 plus horsepower you didn't really need to do that um, so the clutch forks the output shaft and all that what I wanted to do I was pretty much advised because of money and the power I have and will have, I don't need it. Um, before it does start slipping, they did advise because I don't need a full race clutch with the heavy duty screen, so they told me to go with the three, which will tighten it up um, versus making it a workout. Even though it is, well, it is, it does have the quick shifter. I still have pulled a clutch to downshift and also get in the first. Um, so that's been at the shop for an estimated month. They said four to six weeks. I was just down there last week. Um, motor still out the motor. I'm a motor still out the bike. So I'm still just in the lingo of waiting. Um, they were still waiting on a fairing to come in because they had to replace a fairing because they cut the fairing around the turbo. Uh, in one 
one and a half mile. The intake, Take exit. They're going to take two. so they had to replace it they messed up the oil pan by putting a different fitting in that looked brass or something uh, that was never supposed to be there it did not come with the turbo so I got a new fitting which they paid for they got a new oil pan and doing all that so hopefully if everything goes accordingly, it'll all be good and we'll be in business. So that's what I'm hoping. Take exit. I'll we will see you very soon. Like, share, and subscribe. A lot more videos are to come. Thank you.